I coded an app that tracks my expenses, how much I spend per month, it categorizes them, and it recommends how I could reduce my expenses. What's up everyone? This is Jake here, how are you doing? Today's video, we're gonna be coding a app that tracks your expenses from your personal bank account, and then it recommends how you can reduce your expenses for the next month using a little bit of machine learning. So the majority of this video is gonna be us coding, and at the end of the video, there's gonna be results of how much my personal expenses are per month, as well as what I can do to reduce those expenses. Okay, I've always wanted to automate my finances and automate my expenses you guys know that i do build trading bots and trading systems that invest for me automatically and now i want to do that for the expense side of things okay so let's hop in start coding this app to track my expenses and then show the results of how much i spend per month and what i can do to lower those expenses let's get started all right guys here it is here's my expense tracker dashboard i built this in just under a couple hours there and uh, kind of really proud of it uh, and, and how it looks, it looks really great. Um, so let's just go over the basics here and then I'll talk about what I used to build it and some improvements that I can make in the future. So we can see um, it can track your expenses. So for the current month, I have uh, just over a thousand dollars of expenses. I'm down 36% uh, compared to last month, which is great. Um, here's my earnings so far for July. Um, take it with a grain of salt, it's, you know, missing some information, but uh, it is correct if you looked at my personal bank account uh, of, of $3,700, I'm up 6% compared to last month. This is the cool part, um, forecasted expenses for August. So this takes in some uh, forecasting algorithms to take a look at my previous expenses and kind of predict what my next expenses are going to be for next month. So that's pretty accurate. $1,600 is, I would say, pretty spot on. I like that a lot. Um, and then we also have the biz, big, biggest expense of July as well at $550 and then the expense name, um, hint that's for rent. Um, so this is pretty cool. Um, this totally links into my personal bank account. I bank with TD and in the description below, I'll show you instructions on how to um, basically take your own statements and use it with this dashboard. Um, all you need is a CSV file and export of your bank transactions. They do have to be formatted in a certain way and we can go over that as well, but um, this would work with any CSV file. Um, so anyways, uh, coming down here, we have the overview. So the expenses per month, which is always great to see. Um, we saw a massive spike there in March and that's when I did put some money in more money into my trading account. So it viewed that as an expense because it was a withdrawal. Um, so that makes sense, but overall very happy with this dashboard. And, and the last part we have is the summary of, um, you know, different expenses. So this is in total, um, of what I paid up so far crazy. I've spent $1,500 in groceries, um, since what do I have? I have all the way back to July 31st. Um, so that's crazy. Now my, I had to combine my credit card statements with my personal bank statements, but my credit card only went back to January of this year of 2020. So this is missing a lot of information and would probably be a lot higher. Um, but it is missing uh, credit card info, uh, for 2019. Um, so unfortunately I couldn't get that at least from my, my broke, my bank's website, but anyways, it's cool. It breaks it down. We got phone groceries, uh, fitness. So gyms, transportation, fast food drinks, um, and then rent obviously is the most. So this is awesome. I love this. I've always wanted to build a personal tracker and I love this forecasted system, uh, where I can forecast and budget for the next month. Um, that, you know, takes previously previous expenses and attempts to forecast them. So really excited. Um, as far as improvements, I would do I'd love to do a couple things. The biggest improvement would be, um, instead of having to export a CSV from my bank, it'd be cool to just be able to log in uh, to my bank and have this dashboard basically scrape all the data and then do the calculations. Um, a lot of platforms like Mint do this already. Um, this would be a much better solution. Um, that way you wouldn't have to export it and it'd be one less click. It would save you a bit of time. So I would love that instead. Um, and I would probably use like Puppeteer or some scraping service to, to be able to do that. Number two, um, is being able to import on the go. So like having a button say import that imports it right now, it just takes a CSV file from my project folder. Um, so you, I would have to update that file every time. It'd be nice to be able to just import it as well, um, and do that. And number three, I think the next thing would be recommendations on 
um, so for example, say your groceries spiked up by 10%, right? Like last month you spent $1,000 on groceries and now this month you spent 1100. You should get a little notification saying like, hey, your groceries went up by 10%. Um, maybe you wanna take a look into that or reduce your grocery spending. I think that would be good to see some an um, anomalies, anomalies, sorry, uh, in your data. Cause the forecasted expense for the next month is great. That's definitely helpful, but now you wanna see, okay, how, how can I reduce that? And what am I spending it on, right? So um, I can see, you know, overall, obviously I'm spending the most on rent. The next one would be groceries. It's crazy how much I spend on my phone, um, which is stupid expensive here in Canada, but groceries is the next biggest thing, which kind of makes sense. Um, but uh, being able to see that and reduce that, I think would be huge. So um, the link in the, is in the description for this um, dashboard. Um, I did build it in Node.js, and now I'm gonna go over the code on kind of how it works. So I'll explain that. Um, comment below if you would like to see updates to this or this interests you, um, or you just wanna see stock trading bots, you don't care about uh, expenses. Um, but I, I'm a stats guy, I love this type of stuff, and um, definitely makes me, um, just makes me, I don't know, giggle inside that I can be able to, to track my own stats and and basically build apps that can help, help me, right? So. Let's uh, switch on over here. So the code, how do I build this? So um, I use Node.js to basically read a CSV uh, in the project directory. Um, so step one, I went onto my bank um, and I exported my transactions as a CSV. Okay, and I'll show you that CSV actually. Uh, let me pull it up here. So. In order for this to work, you need to have a purchases CSV in the directory of this project. So I did that and basically TD, my bank, um, Toronto Dominion, they export all my transactions, the date, the name, uh, wh whether it's a withdrawal or deposit, and then my total account balance. So in order for this to work, right, you need it right now as it's coded, you need a CSV that's formatted this way, okay? So it needs to be a CSV, which is a file um, where values are separated by a comma, comma separated values. And uh, the first column needs to be a date. The second column needs to be the description of the transaction. The third column needs to be a withdrawal. Okay. And if it's a blank, it's not a withdrawal. It's a deposit. The fourth column needs to be a deposit, right? And if it's a blank, then it's a withdrawal. Um, and then the last column needs to be your account balance. Okay. So that's, that's, uh, what I did first is I exported the CSV and then I found a, um, I found a library from node package manager, NPM that reads CSV. It's called CSV parser parser. So I installed that. And then, um, I thought of different variables that I wanted to see. So, um, just on my, my homepage, I instantiate all these variables, um, you know, expenses last month, this month, um, you know, my data and stuff like that. And then I also got a time series analysis library, which is called time series dash analysis. Um, and this helps me with the forecasting and calculating that. Um, and then what I do is I, I use the CSV library to read the CSV file. I parse through it and I loop through all the values and set some of the variables. Um, I also used moment JS to get the times. And then at the bottom here is where I use the for forecasting algorithm to forecast next month's potential uh, budget. Okay, how much I would be uh, spending in expenses wise. And then I send all that data to the front end, okay, by calling response.render uh, index. Now for the front end, I used a free dashboard template. Um, if I can pull it up here, I think I just Googled bootstrap uh, dashboard template. And I believe it was called SB admin. Uh, was it this one? Yeah, it was this one, SB admin too. So startbootstrap.com. This is where I got that template. It's pretty clean and, and cool. Obviously I didn't code it myself. I didn't code the template um, myself, but um, I just used theirs. So send all that data to the front end. And then I um, hooked up their template by uh, copying and pasting their HTML and then just, you know, um, finding the values and replacing them. And this is what I got. So um, let me know on if you guys wanna see more updates with this personal expense tracker. Um, and if you're a developer, you can definitely take advantage of it and start using it for yourself. If you don't know how to code, um, I will work on this. 
I can't give a priority to it because I'm very busy with, with work, but I will work on this and eventually maybe release a website where you can use it yourself and, and you know, not have to be able, not, if you don't know how to code, basically, uh, being able just to visit a website and use it yourself. So, um, anyways, this is my personal expense tracker. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found value. Um, let me know in the comments below uh, on updates if you think it's good, if you think if it sucks. Uh, if you think it's good, definitely hit that like button for sure. That would make me happy. But yeah, I'm excited about this stuff. I love stats. I love being able to display stats and, and forecast stuff um, so I can make better decisions. And uh, in this case, it's lowering my expenses. So anyways, Jacob here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next week. Have a good one, guys.